Consider for a moment the name Stephen Joe Chad. When you hear the name Stephen Joe Chad, what do you think of? What does he look like? Is he rich? Is he poor? Is he powerful like a Stephen? Or nice like a Joe? Or a Chad like Chatty Chad? And maybe most importantly, ask yourself, would you be his friend? all received friend requests like this, right? Most likely fake profiles, usually of scantily clad women. It's easy to dismiss these profiles as just tricks. Attempts to take over your account or get credit card info. But something about Stephen Joe Chad felt different. As I looked closer at his profile, I stumbled onto something else entirely. The search for answers led to only more questions. And every time I thought about quitting, I realized there was no going back. By the time the dust settled, I realized I was in the middle of something big, a geopolitical incident of unimaginable proportions. But before we get into any of that, we should probably start with, how did we get here in the first place? That's February 18th, 2021. That date will be much more important in a minute. But it's on that day that I received this request from Stephen Joe Chad. And on the face of it, it doesn't seem all that strange. If anything, this could be a family man, a successful businessman. You see that perhaps he's made some money in the Bitcoin game, and perhaps even dual degrees. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but he has kind eyes. He seems like a nice guy. And even when we begin to peel back the onion, and we notice that this account was simply made on December 25th, 2020, not too long ago, and that the happy Christmas is spelled wrong, these seem like innocent mistakes, or in the worst case scenario, just a fake profile. So nothing to get alarmed about, right? million customers without power this morning. You're looking at live pictures from Dallas. I've been here for about 30 years and I never see nothing like this. One million square miles are under a winter weather advisory called a winter wind chill warning. In El Paso, this car pileup left tractor trailers overturned. In Oklahoma, roads are hardly visible, covered with snow and ice. We at emergency management are asking our citizens, wherever you are currently, please do not move from that spot. Everyone across the state of Texas is being urged to conserve as much electricity as possible because this could be a treacherous day here in this state. So let me get this straight. On the worst day in recent Texas history, when everyone is sheltering indoors, many without power, and those with power needing to conserve it because of rolling blackouts, on that day of all days is when Stephen Joe Chad, one of Dallas's many sons, decides to go online and send out a missive to become my friend? It didn't make any sense but there it was, nonetheless. And you see, the worst part is the not knowing. Not knowing who this was. Not knowing why me. Not even knowing where to go from here. Until there it was, hiding in plain sight. How could I have missed it?
Papu Kumar. By himself, there's not a lot going on. No friends, an empty profile, but Papu Kumar is a mile marker, the point at which the rabbit hole begins, where everything changes.